I told you I wanted to do a review of the um, newest, supposed to be the best ever craft mat by Ken Oliver Stamps. This craft mat is supposed to be like the be all, the end all be all kind of thing. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Let me get it out of the box here. So the first thing I would tell you that I noticed, it's not slippery. Okay, so it really has like a, almost like tacky kind of feel to it. So it's, uh, what is this? This is 16.5 by 15 inches. So it's a, it's a good size mat. This is the mat I've always used. Oops. Okay, there we go. So this is the mat I always used to use. I still like this mat. I really, really do. Um... But the only thing is like this mat is very silky and um, slippery is what I want to say. Very slippery. So it will, let me pull this one up and I'll show you the difference. This one, you see, will slide everywhere on my desktop. This one here kind of like grips. See, I can't move that, which I really love because sometimes when you're doing something on a craft mat, you don't want it to be slipping and sliding, especially like if you're applying um, embossing paste or something. You don't want your mat to be slipping and sliding. If you're coloring and you don't want, you just don't want things to shift. So I will say out of these mats, I definitely like this one. I definitely like it. It, it seems to also have almost like a thicker kind of texture to it. It's supposed to be uh, non-stick, which I like heat resistant, wrinkle free. That's another thing too. Like in here you can kind of see the wrinkles I've created with this one here. And this one is supposed to be wrinkle free. I've heard some really great reviews about this. So I thought I would like give it a try. Also it's um, it wipes really clean. It's reusable. And let's see, it's, it's multi-purpose it says. My overall opinion right now is I'm in love. I really am in love. I think maybe just for the fact that it does not slide. And I kind of like the lighter color. I'm thinking like if I put down, I'm just gonna grab some of my distress inks that I just happen to have on my table. I can pretty much almost get a truer color me bring this one back in then what I would get on this see this one kind of holds more so you see that this kind of holds more um, more of the ink to me I kind of feel like I might be wasting it compared to this one and you can kind of see where this one kind of bubbles up a little bit more compared to this one. Now I'm going to grab a baby wipe and we're going to see how easy this cleans up. So yeah, pretty much just one swipe. Yeah, that clean that cleans up great. Yeah. Yep, I like that. Now this one here, don't get me wrong, it cleans up, but as you can see because the surface is um, slippery, you kind of get more of um, more of a lot of stuff to clean up. So that's taken me, you know, quite some time. And I will tell you with this one as well, you know, you're cleaning everything up, but now everything's like wet. So then you're going to have to come back and dry it to make sure it's dry. This one here, it, it cleaned right up. There was no wetness to the mat afterwards. So that's one of the things I also I also like. Now this one here, as you can tell, it kind of stained. Can you see that? It kind of stained a little bit. Which that is something that happened to one of my older mats and that's why I ended up buying another one. This one here, let's see. Nope, didn't stain at all. Yeah. I like, like, like this one. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to get rid of this mat. I will definitely keep this one. 
but I think this one here might be my new favorite. I really like the texture and again, I love that it stays in place. Really, really love that. So if you guys have not seen this before, it wasn't it wasn't uh, expensive at all. I think it was like maybe, uh, let me see if I get this right. I got it off of Blitzy, so it's maybe like $14.95 maybe. Where I think this one here I purchased at Hobby Lobby. And I think this one might have been a little bit more, maybe close to the $17.95. But yeah, if you have not tried this craft mat, I would definitely suggest this one. Like I said, it's it's a different feel, but it cleans up very well. It doesn't slip and slide, and you don't have the shininess of this, uh, like the other mats. So if I were to say, is this a keeper? You're damn right this is a keeper. This is a great mat. All right, I'm going to finish doodling around with this thing and see see what else I can create on it. I will be back shortly with another video, um, hopefully a card making video, maybe a little bit of coloring. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys soon. Until then, go forth and be crafty. Bye bye. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Make sure to subscribe and also follow me on all my social media outlets. I love hearing your comments and I like seeing your thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.